Yaho YouTube, I am Super Genki, and in today's video we're going to talk about self-sabotage and coronavirus. This, is one of, this has been one of my biggest struggles since quarantine started, this, this habit of self-sabotage. And I want to sabotage myself, I want to feel like I'm in control of my life with all the stress and all the external circumstances and blah 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 blah. Problem is that self-sabotage kills productivity. Because it's specifically designed to get you to not move to make progress towards your goals. And what I have come to understand in the past three weeks, because I've been on quarantine now for three weeks, is that if you don't refocus, if you don't adapt to our new environment, that's where self-sabotage is going to thrive. Because if our environment changes and we don't change to reflect our environment, we're going to be like, digging the ditch just a little deeper we're gonna be like why is nothing changing why is it not working for me why am i stuck in my house ah! it's gonna be like that and i don't want it to be for you like that it was like that for me <laughs> so how do we how do we get it not to be like that how do we get it to you know how do we adapt in the right way so that we can be productive in our environments i think one of the coolest things that we can do is not make this a personal matter. You know, a lot of us tend to make coronavirus really personal because coronavirus is just coming up here and it's taking our daily life and it's being like, get out of here, daily life, brah, brah, brah. It just like pushes it out of the screen. And then all of a sudden we have this new daily life that we don't want to do. It's all boring. We're inside. And we're like, oh man, I wish I could go outside, blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing. Don't make it personal because it's not personal. The whole world is going through this pandemic right now. The whole world is having their daily life uprooted and changed to something else. It's completely outside of all of our controls. So when we try to make it into our control, when we try to think it into our control, no amount of mental energy, no amount of time, no amount of motivation is going to make this problem go away. So just... Stop making it personal. That's something that I had to do about a couple of weeks ago because it became really personal for me really fast when I thought I gave it to my friend in Japan after she returned to Japan. And it was like not a good time to be alive. But you know, when we make it personal, we trap ourselves in this cell-like mindset. And you don't want to be living in this cell because then you're going to become a prisoner because then you're going to become a prisoner to this external circumstance. And that's what I don't want you guys to have to go through because quarantine is still relatively new for most of us. It's still some kind of new thing for most of us. And if we really want to take advantage of the new, we got to adapt, we got to think, we got to plan, we got to use this opportunity before we lose this opportunity. Come on, say it with me. Use it before you lose it. Anyway, YouTube, I think that that's pretty much the sum up of this idea. I'm going to be talking a lot more about self-sabotage because it's one of my biggest problems, like I said in the beginning of the video, especially with overeating. I really want to get done with overeating. I don't want to do it anymore. But it's hard when you keep buying the food and the opportunity is still in your house to overeat. So I'm going to start trying to stop buying the food. We're going to see where it goes. But if you like this video, leave a comment. love comments. Leave that like, man. I love seeing likes. And subscribe to the channel because I want to get more followers. I've been losing a lot this month because I haven't been consistent. But anyway, guys, most importantly, share this video with your friends because we need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. Get Genki. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.